Spanish is an awesome language. I love Spanish and I, it's been really, really helpful to me throughout my whole life. Since then, I've used it many times uh, in different job situations or social situations, uh, even in a grocery store to help someone put their mind at ease as they were trying to communicate with somebody. Um, when I arrived, I, I had taken Spanish in high school, a couple of years. Uh, I learned everything I learned in high school about the first week in the MTC, it's kind of the way it goes. Um, and then the MTC, you learn words and you get to the mission and some of the words are different than what you learned. Um, it's a carro, not a coche, or uh, a variety of different just local dichos or sayings in some areas and each one I'm sure has its own unique sayings and words in each area of the world, I'm sure. Um, my mission president, again, I told you at the beginning where he had shown confidence in me, he called me you know, when I had, after I'd been out a month uh, with my trainer, um, he called me when we had our interview and said, okay, I'm ready to make you a trainer. And my jaw dropped and I was like, holy cow, how can I do this? Um, but the Lord really blessed me with language. Uh, he didn't make me a trainer the first month. I was a co-senior companion my second month and then my third month I trained. But um, I remember as I was learning Spanish, I was, I was trying, praying, studying. And for me, it was a real blessing uh, that... I remember, again, I was working and trying to understand what people were saying, and I was blessed with the gift of tongues almost overnight. So I was out about three weeks, really, when it happened, uh, when I kind of had uh, a spiritual experience where the Lord said, I need you, so I'm going to bless you with the language. And he did. And I all of a sudden could understand. I didn't have that huge vocabulary yet. Um, but I could understand and I could communicate and it was really almost overnight. Um, and so uh, it's not the experience everybody has, but it was what I had. And it was, um, it was a blessing to be able to speak Spanish. And even later in my mission, um, I, there was one area that I lived in, Bucaramanga, where there was a, a brother that was, I don't know if he was in a state presidency, something. Anyway, he was a lawyer and he uh, needed some translation done. So I helped him translate some things. Um, and it was like adoption papers and some other things that I would verbally translate it from one, from Spanish to English or from English to Spanish. Um, and uh, had a little opportunity to do that. And uh, that was that was a great experience. Um, speaking of Spanish, later in my mission, when I was in the office, we had uh, visiting authority Hartman Rector Jr. came and uh, had the opportunity to travel uh, with him and translate as he spoke to uh, missionaries in a variety of different zone conferences and things. Um, and so that is hard to do, especially if if they're going along and. He says something, you're trying to figure out the words to translate it, and he leans over and tells you the scripture it is, and so you just say the scripture. Um, but uh, I, me encanta, I love Spanish. And, um, and just there's certain things, I guess any language you learn, uh, uh, or you, wherever you go, there's certain things that you find in that language that is the best way to express something, where in your own it's just not a way to do it um, and so or it's more difficult to express that and so uh, you'll learn and eventually in your mission as you're learning your language that you really know things have kind of turned a corner when you start dreaming in that language and when you stop translating your responses where you hear something and you answer back without thinking what does that mean in English and then translating it back to tell them. Um, and so that's a, kind of a hallmark time in your mission, uh, kind of a point where you can look forward to when that happens.